Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you one of our latest STEM kits available for you to check out at the library. What I love about Bloxels is that it combines creativity, story building, and computer programming in a fun way that teaches you how to create your very own video games. What makes Bloxels a little bit different from some of the more hands-on kits at the library is that is accessed mostly online. So this will mean that you will need internet access as well as either a computer, tablet, or phone to use Bloxels. If you are using a computer, you can access Bloxels through your internet web browser by visiting build.bloxels.co this will give you access to everything that is available in the app. You can also check out edu.bloxelsbuilder.com for more tutorials and to get the most out of your Bloxels experience. If you have a tablet or phone, you can visit either the Apple App Store or Google Play and download Bloxels for free. So next I'm going to show you how to log into the Bloxels app. When you check out the kit at the library, it will include some instructions, a grid board that will help you in imagining some of your characters and landscapes, as well as a green card that includes your student code, username, and password to log into the Bloxels app. So you're going to select Log In, and then you're going to select Student Login. Next, you're going to enter your class code, which in most cases will be VPLIB1. I'm going to press Next. Now you're going to select your username, which is provided to you on your card, as well as a four digit password that only you know. That way you can keep track of your own characters and games. So next you will see that you have the options to either select Builder, Arcade, or Settings. I'm just going to show you quickly that if you select Arcade, you can play all kinds of games that people just like you have created. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are mostly going to focus on the Builder. So in the Builder, you have the options to either create games, characters, art, or backgrounds. I'm going to start with characters. So for the sake of this tutorial, I've already created my own character named Bob. I will go in and show you a little bit about how he was created. So the way that Bloxel's Builder is set up is through pixels. So each of these little squares can be filled in with a color to create your image. You can see over here you have all kinds of different color selections you can make them lighter darker just play around with it and see what you can make now if you look at the bottom of the screen you will see where it says idle walk jump and fall this is important because this is how you will animate your character so that when you are playing a game, it will look as if they are running, walking, jumping, falling, all those different movements. Now, idle is just what he's going to look like when he's standing. But when he walks, you will probably want to animate a few different slides to make it look as though he is walking. You can easily add an image by pressing the plus sign down here at the arrow at the bottom to create an extra slide.
You'll also want to design them jumping and falling. Think about how these movements would look in pixels. So next, let's go to the bottom right-hand corner and press test. So in test, we'll be able to see exactly what he looks like when he is doing all those different actions. You can go back and edit this as much as you like, add on to his different movements, give them different facial expressions, all kinds of things. All right, so now we're gonna go back to edit. So this is just a quick overview of how to use the character builder. I'm going to go up to the upper left-hand corner and just quickly select Art Builder just to show you. In Art Builder, you can create different animations in a similar way as you did with the Character Builder. And then if you go up to the Background Builder, this will allow you to create different backgrounds for your games. You can choose different brush sizes. You can choose to fill in a whole color. I really just recommend playing around with this and trying different things out. So last but not least, we are going to visit the Game Builder. The Game Builder kind of ties everything together so that you can develop your very own game. So here I'm gonna to go to create new game. And you can see I start off with your character in the middle and at the bottom, you will notice that each of these colored blocks have a different property. So green blocks are going to be solid pieces of land that your character can run and jump across. As you can see, you can put them anywhere to build different levels that your character has to jump across onto. The blue block is going to show water. So you can create different things in water. You can even put stuff in water. Like if you go over to the yellow block, this will stand for different coins and treasures that your character can get, collect. I believe that the purple block is going to be an enemy that can kind of move around. The magenta block zaps your character. Same with this red block is also going to be a hazard of some sort. I believe that the orange blocks you are able to pick up and move and the white blocks are text bubbles that I believe if you add different characters and things you can have them talk to. You'll also see that you have the option to go back and go forward to remove things. You can also erase things that you don't like. Now, if you look at the bottom right hand side, you will notice three blocks with images. If you select the character, you should be able to go in and press edit and select your very own character that you have created. And in these blue boxes, you can edit 
all kinds of things, such as your character's size compared to your scenery. You can give them more or less life, different abilities when fighting. You can make him fly in different ways if you just want him to jump, have it have like a rocket pack or really be able to float. You can give them different attacks. So there's all kinds of different ways to really customize your character in this game. You can also set him up at the beginning. Now you can also select your backgrounds which if you created your own background, you can access through my stuff. I didn't really create one, so I'm gonna to go to the asset packs that have pre-made ones already there for me. You can also choose a soundtrack to play in the background. So as you can see, there's just all kinds of different ways that you can really customize your game. So now let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so that worked pretty well. You can go back and edit it. As you can see, that was a pretty short level, but you can go ahead and create and make this level, I think, just about as big as you want to. You can create multiple different games with different atmospheres. The possibilities are really endless. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use Voxels and that you come in and check it out here at the library.